Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k minus 11 divided by 11 minus k is equals to 11 and we solve this problem for all the roots of this equation. So here we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root. So further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now here uh, we need to move towards our first method and in first method uh, we just uh, move our denominator term this complete denominator term to the right hand side so you see that 11 minus k is divided by left hand side and when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 11 so after moving this into the right hand side it will be written as k minus 11 is equals to 11 is multiplied by 11 minus k and further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as k minus 11 is equals to here we multiply this 11 separately on both of these two values and it will become here 11 square minus 11 multiplied by k and in the next step we have uh, here we need to move the variable terms into the left hand side and all the constant terms to the right hand side so for this we move this minus 11k from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as this is minus 11k becomes here plus 11k and this is minus 11 when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes here plus 11 and further in the next step you see here we have this is uh, k plus 11k becomes here 12k and we know about that 11 square is equals to 121 and plus this is our 11 and now here we need to sum up these two values and we get here 1 plus 1 becomes 2 and 2 plus 1 becomes 3 and this is uh, this will becomes here 1 only and here we have this is 12k so here because we solve this problem for the values of k so that's why we need to move this 12 to the right hand side so in order to eliminate this 12 from left hand side we need to divide both of the sides by 12 so when we divide both of the sides by 12 it will be written as in this form so further we have this 12 is cancelled out by this 12 and we will get here k is equals to so here uh, we just divide this value by 12 and you get here 12 ones are 12 and again 12 ones are 12 and we carry one this will also becomes 12 and we get here 12 ones are 12 it means that uh, 12 times 11 becomes here 132 so finally we get here k is equals to 1 multiplied by 1 or in other words k is equals to 11 okay so here in the first method we will get here only one root of the given equation and that is k is equals to 11. So this is the one root of the given equation which we get here from first method and in the next step we need to verify that is this value of k is satisfied over a given question statement or not or in other words we just check that is this value of k be the solution or is this value of k be the extraneous root. Uh, so for this we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is k minus 11 divided by 11 minus k is equals to 11 so this is the our given question statement and we need to substitute this value of k equals 11 into the left hand side of this equation so when we put this value here it will becomes uh, this is 11 minus 11 divided by 11 minus 11 is equals to 11 and now here you need to focus into the left hand side and you see that 11 minus 11 becomes here 0 and this is also 11 minus 11 becomes here 0 is equals to 11 
and now you see here in the left hand side we have zero by zero form so in other words we just say that zero over zero form is usually called that uh, it is the uh, indeterminate form okay uh, so zero over zero form is called the indeterminate form so if uh, our left hand side is indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is undefined okay so if our left hand side is undefined this means that these two sides are not equal because our left hand side is undefined and right hand side is 11 uh, so uh, it is not possible case okay it is not possible that an undefined or infinite value is equal to 11 so uh, if this is not possible so this means that at the value of k is equals to 11 is not satisfied of our given question statement so here we finally conclude about the value of k is equals to 11 is that uh, k is equals to 11 be the extraneous root of the given equation and here you know about that uh, what is extraneous root so the roots which is satisfied our given question statement is called the extraneous root it is not satisfied our given question is called the extraneous root but the roots which is satisfied our given equation is called the solution okay so here k equals to 11 is not satisfied our given, given equation so we call it as the extraneous root but here unfortunately we cannot get any other values of k which is satisfied of a given question statement so here uh, we finally conclude about that uh, we finally conclude about solution of this equation is that this question has uh, no solution in general because we cannot get any value of k which is satisfied of a given question statement so this means that this question has no solution so this is our final conclusion of the first method and now here uh, we again solve this problem for a second method uh, and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is k minus 11 divided by 11 minus k is equals to 11 so this is the our given question statement and here uh, in the second method uh, we just uh, explain the second method quickly okay so this is the quick method to get the uh, to get the final conclusion about the solution of this problem so in this method uh, we need to focus into the numerator term and in the numerator term we will just take common uh, negative sign um, from here and when we take common minus sign it will become here 11 minus k divided by 11 minus k so after taking common minus sign uh, the sign of both of these two values are changed so that we will get here uh, 11 minus k and now you see here uh, both the numerator and denominator both are cancelled out by each other and this implies that we get here minus 1 is equals to 11. So here uh, you clearly see that it is not possible that minus 1 is equals to 11 because it is not uh, equal in general. So this is the uh, not the possible case minus 1 is equals to 11 so if these two are not equal it means that we cannot get any other value of k which is satisfied of a given question statement so we finally conclude about that and this question has no solution in general so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos